There's going to be nights like tonight where you stand in front of your computer and you don't even know where to start. So my kids got sick. Uh, they went to daycare. They enjoyed a little friendly sharing of illnesses. Uh, and then they friendly shared it with us. And dad was fine for a while, and then dad was not fine. And then mom was getting better, and then mom was not fine. And then dad got sick again, and then the kids were sick. And then eventually, everyone feels a little bit better. And eventually, you have a chance to come and work on whatever project you're working on. And in my case, it's going to be a handful of weeks later. <laughs> There's something that happens when you're, you're so focused on something. You know exactly what's needed. You know exactly what the next step is. But it's a few weeks later and you, you log into your computer and you don't even know where to start. You, don't <laughs> you read old documentation because, oh, please tell me you kept some documentation. You kept some idea of where you are, what you're working on, some vague response from yourself on the progress of said project, uh, which I did, which is great. And you can read that and you know exactly the next steps you need to take. <sighs> but you... You're at your computer and you almost have no momentum built up. It, it really is a momentum thing. It's like you're, you're working, if not every day, you're working incrementally towards some building of a brand new Facebook. You're building that software. That's great. So where'd you leave off? And where is the sprint board that dictates the tasks that need to be tackled now? That is so frustrating when you sit down and you have a moment and you have no idea what to do next. <sighs> because you've taken a few moments off, whether it's one day or two weeks or almost a month to just sit down and code some stuff out and dealing with that frustration is it's like knowing what you want to build and knowing what you're capable of and knowing what you can do but you don't know where to start and frustration isn't quite the word it's more of a hey an awareness of what the, the parts of what you're trying to build, what those parts are lacking and where you need to go. And when you sit with it long enough, you, you understand what you need to be doing next. But letting go of that frustration of, I just spent three weeks making sure the family's healthy, taking care of them. And then I come back and... I'm not taken care of and this these programs you're writing whatever it is it's not taken care of and it feels like a dumpster fire it'll feel like the most frustrating thing to log into and open up your IDE and open up your your development center whatever whatever it is a testing environment <laughs> anything and you just kind of stare at the screen and don't know what to do next. That can be the biggest bottleneck, the biggest roadblock, the biggest problem in your way of, of just getting back into it and building whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, how do you even deal with that? I, I feel like it's so important to read your past notes read where you were, what you were working on, any kind of comments that you made, like, hey, this needs to be expanded or edited or otherwise fixed, great. But 
something that I think is very helpful is dictating the scope of the project before you even start. If you're going into the project and you understand exactly what you're trying to build, then each step along the way is at least vaguely defined. So when you come back, you go, okay, I'm on this step. I'm troubleshooting these things. I'm building this part. And if you don't have that, I highly, highly recommend that you go back. Holy cannoli. That you go back and you just dictate what it is in this project that you're actually doing. What is the end goal? And then write out the steps to make that possible. Because when you take a break, for any reason, the kids are sick, the wife is sick, you're sick, your apartment collapsed, it doesn't matter. When you come back, you'll be incredibly lost, you won't know where to start, and you'll want to throw your laptop through the wall. So it really comes back to the skill of not just knowing how to code, or knowing your specific tools or knowing what you're doing in a project. Great. But also the project management, understanding exactly what your objectives are and moving forward step by step by step. So when you come back, there's a trail of breadcrumbs to get you started. Please take the time to make your trail of breadcrumbs. Please take the time to define the scope of the project or you will abandon it. <laughs> you will not come back. You will say it's too much work and never pick up that thing that you always wanted to build. Let me know how you deal with all that because right now that's where I'm at. Everyone's healthy again. I've got work nights scheduled into the month. And I'm sitting here staring at an open IDE and just kind of feeling paralysis. Would love to hear your opinion on that. Good night.